Hello. I'm here at Energy X 2021 with Richard, the EV readiness manager for SSEN, and uh, he's done a fantastic presentation today that's gone down well. Richard, how do you feel it went? I think it was brilliant. I think the questions from the audience were really informed. Uh, it's been great to get back into the presentation circuit again and actually discover some of the Q&As prompted a lot of other meetings that I've then followed up on afterwards. Um, I think I've got about four or five different meetings now lined up off the back of it. So yeah, I'm really delighted. And, and it all fed, fed together well. I think it linked together. You know, I talked about DSO and monitoring and then funnily enough, after my presentation, there was uh, speakers talking about DSO and monitoring. So I think it gave the audience a really uh, complete picture of the, the topic. Brilliant. So we've um, we've we've got we're obviously we've been restricted with meeting like this because of the lockdowns and the COVID restrictions. However, we've now got a plan to launch the uh, Engineer Circle, which is about bringing together engineers from the DS, DS, DNOs or DSOs as they're going to be in the future right, yeah. to talk about the issues that you're all facing, so you can work together in a common best practice bench for benchmarking platform. How do you feel about that? I think it's invaluable. I think when we've seen some of the questions from the audience, they've asked about how different DNOs are working together, and I think it's drawn out the need for us to collaborate more. There's things that take place at a high level, but actually getting engineers that are involved in the, the nitty gritty of the day to day activities to come together and say, management might not be aware of this, that or the other. I think that's where the real value can come from it, because then this can be the source of you know what's happening at the coalface and actually allow managers to make that strategic decision off the back of it. So I think it's a missing part of the challenge that we're facing so I'd be very keen for that to take place. And uh, how do you feel about having uh, a National Grid ESO here because they would normally be invited to this sort of thing was that of use? Absolutely. I mean, National Grid sit alongside us in all of the, the low carbon technology working groups that the ENA organise, so they're a key part of it. Um, and with Ofgem incentivising and encouraging us to work collaboratively on all aspects of the whole system transition, really they have to be a part of these conversations. You can't talk about managing networks at any level without involving uh, the, the, you know, the system operator from a national side. Well, next year we're running this event, uh, 2022 in June. Hopefully the weather will be as glorious then. And uh, the theme is going to be about benchmarking, benchmarking progress to see how we've done in the next, uh, well, it'll be not, just under 12 months to see if things have been achieved. Can we uh, look forward to seeing you then and reporting back to us? Absolutely. I'd be delighted to give an update, a refresh of the network model that I showed today and see how the EV uptake has uh, taken place following COVID. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Richard. You.